The peace and security of the world is in the hands of the next generation. At the Burlington High School, Model United Nations. I initially joined Model UN as a sophomore. It was during COVID, and I just had a lot of free time at home, and I really wanted something that could really like capture my attention, and Model UN happened to be that. All those in favor, please raise your placards. We're gonna have like a little introductory session with all the people. I'll be giving a little speech. We're gonna have a speaker from Harvard, actually. He participates in Harvard Model UN. And then we'll all break off into our committees. My Undersecretary General and I, we will be leading the Men in Black Conference. Well, I'm gonna help run the Men in Black Committee. I'm also gonna help set up snacks, and one of my main roles will be doing a small presentation at the beginning, which is just for like an intro to Model UN, because there's a lot of procedures that you have to follow in Model UN. I yield my time to the chair. And we're probably not going to be super strict about it, but it's still good for kids to know, especially since for this conference, a lot of them are beginners who have never done something like this before. So it's just the basics of parliament procedure, you know, raise your placard to speak, Aye. you've got a motion to do things. Instead of just teaching me like ambassadorial work and stuff, it taught me a lot of other things like how to negotiate with other people. This motion clearly passes. How to properly communicate and a lot of public speaking skills, which I'm really happy I learned. I'm going to go into biology or chemistry, but I really have no idea what I'm going to do after college, so we'll see. Yes, your first directing. Special thanks to the town of Burlington for the use of the Grandview Farm. I'm B News reporter Tad Stefanak. Great job. Do you have any other questions?